The step two is you have to search it. So you do your napkin drawing, and you get your, your idea pretty set, and then you do a search. Now, I have a secret website right here that people that want to search their own ideas don't have to pay a lawyer $1,500. Go to patents.com slash search slash. When you go there, type in your idea, and it'll search the world for you. It's what patent lawyers do. But I do it because I, I think it's very important that if you're working on a new idea and you want to file a patent on it or you want to continue raising money for it, you should know whether it's been done before. I'll give you an example. My daughter went to USC. Am I allowed to say that? My daughter went to USC film school, and she called me one day, and she said, Dad, I got the greatest idea in the whole world. I said, what is it? She says, I want to make a lounge chair that has a hole in it so when I lay in it, I can read a book. I said, that's a great idea. Did you check and see if anybody else ever did it before? She said, oh, nobody ever did it before. So I Googled it. And for $49.95, you could buy it on Amazon.com, the exact same idea she came up with. So I called her back and I said, I found it. It's on, on Amazon.com. You could buy it for $49.95. And she said, they stole my idea. <laughs> I said, that's ridiculous. You just told me about it. They must have been working on it for years, because here it is now. It's, it's on, on Amazon. So you really need to search out your idea before you start spending a lot of time on it. This is how you search an idea. Whatever your idea is, get search keywords. Don't say, he did this. You just go right to the keyword of what it is you invented. For example, I've invented things like bubble makers. So you write down bubbles, sprinkler, water, Maker, whatever the words are, keywords, that's what you search, and things like that will come up. And if it's exactly like you're inventing it, you're wasting your time. If there's nothing like it, you should go further.